aren't up to the task of solving this nation's fiscal problems. He's called for their resignations. He also questions the motivation of President Obama's so-called uh, listening jobs tour. Joining us now, Congressman Louis Gomer, Texas. Congressman, great to have you with us. Uh, strong Always words. I'm, you. You, you want uh, Geithner and Bernanke out now? Yeah, people are talking about another QE, and until we get rid of Huey and Dewey and the Treasury and, and Federal Reserve, <laughs> then we don't need another QE. Uh, the fact is, just as the president said, the government can help. Yeah, they can help by getting out of the way. And these guys have manhandled the economy, and they refuse to open their books and let people see what they are really doing. And, and it has had a terrible effect on the economy, and they do need to go. Can you imagine in the private sector people having two and a half years, in Bernanke's case, much more, and, and getting worse all the time that they're there, and they're constantly wrong, oh, we'll never be downgraded, that would never happen. When you're that wrong about something like that, it's time to go. Well, Warren Buffett wants to give him some more money, too. He thinks the super rich ought to be anteing up uh, the top 1%, coughing up a lot more in the way of taxes. Uh, I mean, when you see, well, I mean, what, what's your reaction to, to the Buffett uh, claim? Well, uh, the reaction is that's fabulous. Just put your check where your mouth is, and instead of... Uh, avoiding taxes that he's paying millions of dollars to lawyers and accountants to do, just send it to the federal government. Stop trying to avoid the death tax. Just pay billions to the federal government, and we'll all love him for it all the more. And Congressman, I, but let me also say, the, the president's out there saying that. You know, yeah. we need more taxes from the 50 percent that are paying the income taxes. And yeah. he's out here on this in his Bar Darth Vader bus on the Magical <laughs> Misery Tour. And the truth is, Lou, that if the president would stop this hurtful rhetoric, he's out there acting like the evil emperor, saying, allow the hatred to flow through your veins Hey, Chaber, if you see they yeah. have something, then you yeah. ought to want it. If you see they're paying taxes and they've got too much money, you ought to take it. We need love and affection coming around this country, not that kind of hateful rhetoric. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting you say that because the president today said, told the crowd that, uh, that they shouldn't be patient any longer uh, with people <laughs> who have the temerity to argue with him. Uh, that there's just That's entirely right. too much uh, partisan uh, partisanship on the part of at least the Republicans. Your That's thoughts? That's right. It's like the evil emperor saying, good, good, let the aggressiveness flow through your body. Feel that hatred. I mean, the guy has got to lighten up and let America do what America does well when the government gets out of the way. Yeah, if for those who have not seen this bus, uh, Congressman Gomert has said it pretty well. It does. It looks like something out of Star Wars. It's uh, and something yeah, indeed that Darth uh, Vader bus. Uh, Darth Vader might uh, might be riding in. Uh, Congressman, we really appreciate you being with us. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. There is hope, and we can do this. We just got to, you know, get a zero baseline budget, cut out things like Department of Energy. Uh, cut out the spending on Obamacare till we get a reading from the Supreme Court, and we can we can make this work. Congressman, there are a lot of us Thank who move way beyond hope. We want to see action now. We're we're <laughs> done with I'm that with deal. You. Congressman Louis Gomer, thanks for you. being with us. Thanks. Stocks Lord. today.